Oh right, so it's the day of the referendum today, 25th of September 2017. We're in Erbil in the Iraqi Kurdistan region. We're trying to see if we can get some kind of understanding as to what the people on the ground think. What, what do the voters think? We're going to be going to polling stations. We're going to be speaking to uh, voters, hopefully some politicians if we can get our hands on them. Some Peshmergas as well who have perhaps come back from fighting ISIS and perhaps you know, older generation Peshmergas who were fighting against Saddam in their days. See what their opinions are and the everyday person as well, what do they think of the whole situation. We're going to be meeting with a very good journalist, writer, David Patrikadakos. He's written several great books, um, definitely should follow him on Twitter, he has a big Twitter presence. So we're going to meet up with him. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I was getting a bit touch and go for a while there. Very nice, nice to meet you. Cool. Here's my camera for you. So what's this? Is this a 360, 360 camera? camera, yeah. Like, <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. My grandparents were expelled from Baghdad mm. and uh, the Kurds carried them through the mountains here into Iran. Oh, into Iran? Yeah. But hold on. The BBC wants to interview you for one second. Is Kosher your full name? Kosher. Kosher. It's my first name, yeah. G Man has an even better name. It means the immortal one. That's, That's really, really cool, cool, right? Cool. That, that is pretty fucking cool. I love the fact that you can actually use the camera. The Juro, but off the Juro never. They say we can't use the cameras inside. Okay, we won't use them. Okay. We're incredibly fortunate, we managed to blag our way in here, and this is the hall where the big cheeses of Kurdish government vote. Uh, we just saw Fatah Mustafa who was voting here. We uh, spoke to his charming daughter outside, uh, generally dressed in traditional Kurdish uh, uh, female dress, heavily made up. You can see it's a really big day for everybody here. And obviously doing that classic sign of Kurdish independence, the extended finger dipped in it. So uh, I think we'd be really lucky to get in here. And on to the, uh, the next spot. Great. Okay, and he's Peshmerga. Oh uh, yes, he has a military rank, right, which is yeah, right. Colonel. Colonel. Okay, so and the obvious question first, what did he vote? Has he voted yet? Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Who for? For the Kurdish independence. Why? Bo. As all the other nations is uh, we think it's our own right to be independent. What do you think of like the other country's position on independence. Because, you know, Europe has been not so supportive. What does he think? They are one of the countries that are supporting democracy and also supporting uh, independence. And this is what we are asking for. Uh, he thinks that the European countries, in the end, they will also support our yeah. declaration. Yeah. And what does he think about, like, the UK, for example, which has said, you know, now is not the right time for a referendum. Uh, they were not against it. They just said it's not the right time. They gotta go. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna take a okay. photograph okay. of all of them all together. Right. All right, we're going into voting station. Just had to show some papers, um, but I think we've got the all clear. Okay, we get some photos of this. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Tell me your thoughts about this historic day. Today is a historical day for for Kurdistan. What does he think that an independent Kurdistan? What benefits can it bring to the West? Uh, for trading, uh, economical. Okay. All right. That's great. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Very much. Okay, let's go. So we did two polling stations today. I've got a third one coming up, but yep. quick pit stop to get some food. Refuel. It was very difficult to find somewhere to eat. Our tour guide here, Mr. Jiman, also known as the Eternal One, translated into English, was driving around and we found this place. It's an open buffet. Great. There's Wi-Fi. Great. Pretty good so far. Pretty good. Don't you think? Yep. Yeah. This is the best. The 
Does he think that Israel will actually help beyond mere words? We think that they, they will actually support us and not disappoint us. Support us and not disappoint us. What sort of support would you like to see from Israel? We hope that they support us militarily. Military yes. But if we became an independent country right now, it will be beneficial for other countries, especially European countries, because it's the only nation that is peaceful with all the other, other nations and uh, other parts. Okay, that's great. Well, I need his name and his name age. Yes. yes. Okay, and you're how old? 25. 25. And you're an election observer? Yes. Okay, I'll take a photo of you. Yes. So how'd it go, David? Look, I thought today was, was good. We spoke to a variety of people, rather well, cliche taxi driver, they sort of educated people, people who knew their history. Uh, tomorrow we're going to head off to Sully. So I think that all was a good day. I think there's definitely a mood of optimism in the air. You can tell that people do think that this is a historic occasion. I mean, the cityscape is just draped in the referendum. You know, I don't know whether this amount of Kurdish flags is normal. I know Bill, certainly, the mood is very much pro-independence and uh, yeah. the mood is very much for yes. And we will see how the results go. And what's in store for tomorrow? Well, hopefully tomorrow we're going to meet some interesting politicians. I think we've got a lot to look forward to. And I'm looking forward to